Welcome to the highlights for version 22.1. We'll start with the insurance features. You can override a frequency limitation for a specific patient, but not everyone on the plan. This may be necessary for patients enrolled in special insurance programs due to higher oral health risks. We'll double click into the insurance plan and double click into the benefit information. From here, we can create an other benefit clicking on the add button. For this, I want it to be a patient level override so that it only affects this patient on the plan. This is rare and usually if percentages are different for family members. In this example, we'll set a frequency limitation for a Profi. Because it's a specific procedure code, I'll set the category to none and put in my procedure code here. We'll choose the type of limitation and the default time period should already be set based on the patient's current benefit year. This patient is going to be allowed three profies per benefit year. We'll set it to three number of service and click OK. You can see here that this patient now has a patient level override for three numbers of services, where the other patients on this plan are having two numbers of services. We'll click OK and click OK to save our changes. The next preference has been added that's part of the insurance, but can be found in the account module. There is now an account module preference to remove the do nothing option from the secondary claim prompt. Let's show you an example of this. We'll double click into our primary claim and receive it just as we normally would. We now get the prompt from our secondary claim that there's at least one unsent secondary claim for the received procedures. Would you like to change the claim status to waiting to send? Send the secondary claim now to your clearinghouse or do nothing with it and decide later. If you'd prefer that the staff at your office choose from option one or option two and don't leave it in a do nothing status, you now have a preference to have it show just the first two options. This can be found under Setup, Account, and Account Preferences. Remove Do Nothing for Secondary Claims with Hold Until Primary is Received. Click OK, and this will make it so that third option in the prompt is no longer available. The next feature in this version can be found as part of our discount plans. There is now a prompt to create a comm log when dropping a discount plan that has a subscriber's note on it. We'll double click on the discount plan and drop it off this patient. You'll still get the warning whether or not you are actually trying to drop the discount plan. We'll say okay, and we now have a prompt to save the subscriber note to a comm log. In this case, I do want to keep that note that I've given the electronic toothbrush to the subscriber when they signed up. So we'll say yes to save that comm log. Comm logs can be found in several places throughout the program, including the account module in the communication log section, the chart module, so that doctor can also keep an eye on the communication with the patient. And you can also find this inside of the patient's appointments. You'll note with the text inside of it that it tells you that it's the subscriber's note from the dropped discount plan, and it's a saved copy. One of our next features has to do with reports and user queries. When running a query that includes a platinum column, right-click on a patient to go to their account in Open Dental. Let's show you an example of this. I'll run one of my user query favorites that I've copied from the website and pasted into the Open Dental user query section. I'll run the report for my patients that are over the age of 18. We'll click OK and you can see that this report now has the option for me to right click and go straight to that patient's account. 
You will need to minimize the report in order to see the change at the top of the program to show that you're now in a different patient's account. The next feature is part of our sheets. We'll go to Setup and Sheets and inside one of the custom sheets in our system. You can copy new fields to language translations on sheets. When editing the default sheet with language translations, those changes will be copied to all languages. When editing a sheet, check the box for sync matched fields. Then enter the translations for those changes in the language version. We'll show you an example of this. We'll check the box for sync matched fields, and we're going to add a new field onto the sheet. I'll also add in the static text next to it so that if it was printing off the sheet, I also have what it is that is being shown on the sheet next to it. Since I have the sync match fields turned on, as soon as I click into a different sheet with a different language translation, you'll notice that the field has been copied over from the default sheet. The next new feature is in the Manage module under the Billing button. There's a new billing option when you check the box for exclude if insurance is pending to now exclude if insurance is pending a certain number of days or less. This billing option allows the user to determine the number of days a family is excluded from the billing list after a claim has been created and is still outstanding in any status other than received for any family member. In this case, if I had just created a claim today and I have exclude if insurance is pending turned on, this would make it so that my patient would still receive a statement in the, after the 30 days has passed as that claim would have been pending 30 days or less. The next feature in this version is in our chart module underneath the Perio chart button. You now have the setup option in the top left-hand corner. This you allows you to set up and create a Perio chart with default probe measurements. Click the setup button and type in the measurements or click on the set all to 323. We'll show you an example of changing the defaults as well. We'll click OK, and now when your hygienist comes in to do the perio chart, simply click on the default button to set your probe depths to the default settings. They'll then be able to click on specific probe sites and change the numbers as needed. Click Close to save a perio chart. Now we'll take a look at some of the e-services in Open Dental. I'm going to have Chris show you around the program of our new features in eServices. Thanks for that, Caitlin. We're very excited to announce a few of our enhancements to our eServices. The first of being Provider's Preferred Name. The Provider's Preferred Name is going to give an office the ability to protect some of your doctor's privacy by entering a preferred name. This is going to appear when the patient's checking in via eClipboard, viewing appointments in the patient portal, and scheduling appointments online via WebSketch. Our next enhancement is going to be to our automated messaging. Located in eServices, Automated Messaging, and up top, Advanced Settings. We've added a column for our Send General Message. This is going to allow users to prevent general messages from sending to patients with a specific appointment status selected. Our next enhancement in slight changes with our e-clipboard. In our Allow Image Capture section, we'll click on our ellipses. We've moved our self-portrait to this section, but also integrated frequencies. For example, if I wanted my patients to update their self-portrait every 30 days, I'm just going to do enter 30 and click OK. 
if I want my patients to update the front of their insurance card once every year, we're gonna do 365 days and click OK. When the patients check in for that appointment, depending on when the last time this bit of information was updated, it'll prompt them to take that photo. Our last enhancement today has to do with Open Dental Mobile. We have added the ability to see patient field defs and appointment field defs in the Open Dental Mobile. You're also now able to select your different views and have different information depending on that view. By touching the squares in the upper right hand corner, I can select our HIPAA view. Now I'm seeing strictly the information that I want have displayed in my HIPAA view. In this case, procedures. By touching the squares again, I can go back to our all view. And I've got our provider and patient information back on display. And that's it for today's video. We're very excited to be releasing version 22.1 as stable. Make sure you keep an eye out for any new and upcoming features. And if you think of something you'd like to see in Open Dental, make sure you submit a feature request. We would love to hear your ideas. And to make sure you're staying up to date on all of our newest features and training tutorials, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.